Hello, my name is Gary Stone and I've got a fantastic place to show you. It's very arty, very modern. You'll really like this place. And uh, please follow me. So this is typical farmhouse style. Very, very nicely done. Very modern, very new. Comes along with farm dogs too. But you can see it's got the big stoopy here on the front. And, oof, stop it. Here's the dog that's jumping on me the whole time. You can see it's got a very, very nice big front yard. Got a fright there. Um, with a windy house on stilts, big trees as you can see. It's a nice corner stand, two entrances. There's beams all around. So, there's beams on the perimeter wall and against the house. I just want to walk around the house so you can get a feel. So this is your main driveway entrance from the street. This street is uh, Moulton Avenue and then you've got three garages here. Very spacious garages with a workshop inside plus it's got a shelf right up in the front there to pack all those extra things. Yeah, you've got a storeroom which is also next to the garage and this gate here cordons off the animals from the one part of the, the house to the other. So yeah, here's the swimming pool, entertainment area. You can see the yard is nice and spacious. Swimming pool's got a safety net and, uh, and uh, a shade net over it to keep the leaves out. Which I think is a good idea opposed to the sailor. The water can still move through it. So yeah, we are in the back corner um, of the property. There's a servant's quarters at the back here, which I'll show you just now. There's Jojo tanks for collecting rainwater. Entertainment area. Built-in braai, lots of under-roof area. You can see it's got a cement screed floor with bricks around and that's the design of the house as well. Chroma deck gutters, it's got a zinc roof. Before we go inside I just want to show you the other corner. This on the right hand side. It's either a huge flat or it's a big office, but you've got a double carport on this side. You can see it's a massive tree, jacaranda. There's your kitchen door. Right, so let's go inside. Lounge. Nice and, nice and spacious. It's got a loose carpet on a cement street floor, the ceiling fan, and uh, you've got these high ceilings. But basically, it's an open plan kitchen, also with uh, cement street countertops. gas hob, an extractor, skylights, big drawers, looks like they're on roller bearings, opens and closes very easily, 
space for double door fridge and then you've got um, more counter space and more cupboards over here with a scullery on the left hand side don't worry okay and then we've got a fireplace which is currently used as a toy collection spot but it's a, it's a double fireplace from both sides you can see it's not in use, they've got chairs in front of it um, but there's the chimney going up so this is your dining room area with aluminium frames throughout the whole house and uh, this is the front door where that stoopy was where I started with my introduction so this is, uh, it's got a safety gate here and you come in into the house like that here is a study which is big enough for a fifth bedroom so I'm rather going to I'm rather going to advertise this as a five bedroom house with a flat stroke office um, as opposed to a four bedroom with a study you can also see the beechwood chandeliers and uh, over here they've got uh, galvanized buckets over the kitchen very very stylishly done so first bedroom built-in cupboards on the left parquet wooden floors it's got the ceiling fans and then it's got a very nice brick finish which adds character and here we have the first bathroom which has got a shower toilet wash basin and a big deep bath which um, kids will probably have a lot of fun in and uh, there's another bedroom here you can see very spacious outside is the swimming pool area also got a ceiling fan and then we go down the passage And this is quite a big bedroom. Also got a ceiling fan. It's got extra space in this room. Got a view over the front garden. And over the front door. And then that bottom door is the garage and this is the main bedroom here. It's got this door on it which leads to this bedroom which is the spare bedroom which is ideal um, if you have a, a, a baby. So it's ideal for your baby room. Place for your dressing cabinet. Big bed space here. And uh, this is an outside, an outside door. So you can go straight to the pool area from the main bedroom. Also got a ceiling fan and I want to show you the bathroom. It's a very light house, it's not dark at all. Um, this may be the darkest corner but it's been well designed to let a lot of light in. Um, your main bathroom, master on suite. Okay, so it's got a double shower set for his and hers. So, and then it's got a single basin and a bidet and a toilet and a nice big bath it is a sunken bath it's a nice big bath for those long Saturday morning chats with husband and wife Now let me show you the garage.
So you can see, very spacious. There's a bush lot park caravan indoors with space to walk past the front of it. And uh, these are all electric doors opening outwards. And you can see the big packing shelf that's on top of the garage. And then this side's got like a workshop, a workshop area. And just on the outside of that workshop area is that storeroom we walked past that I didn't go into. Okay, so now I want to show you the office or the flat. So now as we come into the um, office or flat, this would either be then your reception room or your lounge, depending on what you're using it for. And uh, this is an ideal office. Or it will be a massive bedroom. It's got these laminated um, floor lookalike tiles. You've got a big walk-in cupboard here for locking up all your um, information. And it's got a kitchenette with a little place for a fridge, place for the microwave. It's got a skylight. And, uh, and then we've got a bathroom as well, which is a shower, a basin and a toilet. Now just outside that door, that's outside and in this corner here behind the kitchenette and the bathroom is where your servant's room is. I'm going to show you that now. So here's that door that goes into that bathroom at the office and then we've got this door which leads into the servants quarters, trelly doors. It's got the separate toilet, nicely tiled, easy be a little flat lit. It's got its uh, bedroom here also with a ceiling fan, trap door. It's got a built-in cupboard and it's got a, quite a big bath with a basin. Also with aluminium frames or wooden frames. So, if you like what you've seen, please phone me. I'll be showing this property from time to time on weekends, but with an appointment any day, any time. Just let me know. I think you'll find that this is a fantastic home for somebody that uh, can appreciate the finer things in life. Thanks for watching this video.